Hello guys, my name is Utkar Shukta and I am making landing model rockets. So first of all, a big sorry, I could not post a video for a long time. Actually, I've taken a small break from the rockets. So today in this video, I'll talk about the fuel testing stand, which I have been working on for a long time. So today I'll show you that how it's being made, what is the code, what are the electronics I've used and how the structure I've made. So let's get started. First, let me tell you that uh, I'm making this test stand to measure the thrust and the burn rate of the rocket motor, which I have been building by myself. And to get the thrust and the burn data, that will help us to optimize our simulation and it will also help us to write our flight software. Now, let's talk about the different electronics of this test stand. The black PCB you can see is the PCB of the flight computer, Ohm. Let me tell you, the Ohm is the name of my flight computer, so don't get confused, okay? I have made few changes in it. For example, now it has a Bluetooth, so I can fire the motor with my mobile phone. Also, the SCL, SDA pins are now made to get data from the load cell. And also, it's working as an onboard computer for the test stand. The frame of the test stand is made with stainless steel. I really like to overbuild. I really like to overbuild things. You can definitely make the structure with simpler materials like wood or cardboard, etc. The aluminium bar you can see in the test stand is the load cell. It measures the thrust. It is a force transducer, means it converts the force such as tension, compression, pressure or torque into electrical energy. And load cell has different stain gauges which measures the strain. So let's uh, now let's see that how the aluminium bar or the load cell is measuring load so one side of the load cell is mounted on the structure of the load cell and the other side you can see that there is a cylindrical body and in that cylindrical body the fuel is fuel rocket motor is kept and it's burned when the motor burns it applies thrust in the upward direction and flow and the and load is applied on the downward direction and due to this load what happens is the aluminium bar bends a little strain is produced inside this aluminium bar and due to this strain, the resistance of the aluminum bar is decreased. And when the resistance is decreased, we know that by Ohm's law, the voltage is increased. And this change of voltage is measured by a microcontroller. So by this relation of change of voltage, we can measure or the thrust acting. So by this change of voltage, we can measure the load on the load cell. Also, the voltage we receive from the load cell is very small. So we cannot measure directly by the microcontroller. So what we need to do is we need to amplify the signal. All these components link I'll put down in the link box. You can see and get them. Now let's talk about software electronics. Now let's talk about the code that how I have written the code. So for the code part, uh, for the code part, I am using a library called HX761. You can go and download this library into your Arduino IDE. Now what you can do is uh, you can just take my code and copy paste and run it. You will get the values. I'm not describing the code in details, but if you uh, want me to describe, just write down in the comment or if you have any problem, just can write in the comment or you can also email me and I'll really help you out. Yeah, yeah, yeah.